Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in right now. My name is Annie Fortnow, and I'm the Engagement Manager at JumpSpark Atlanta. And at JumpSpark, we are so excited to have launched our $10,000 Israel Gap Year Scholarship for Atlanta Jewish teens to attend a gap year on one of 10 pre-approved and diverse programs in Israel next year. Our programs span a range of focus areas, cities, and religious affiliations, and there's an Israel gap year experience for everyone. We're going to help you identify the right one for you. And tonight, today, we are so excited to feature Shin Shanim Ayel, um, and we have some amazing staff members from the program here to learn all about what makes Shin Shanim Ayel unique. Um, so I want to welcome Batya Goldtifer, um, and she is the director of the program. We're so lucky to have her here. Um, also Eliad, um, who is the director um, partnership region and the Federation representative in Israel. And we have Golly Gordon from Masa Israel, who is the director of partnerships for Masa Israel's journey. So excited to welcome you all here. Um, and if you all just want to take a few minutes to like share a little bit about yourselves, your relationship with the program and something about the program, we can get started with some questions. Batya, do you want to start us off as your yeah. first on my screen? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so thank you so much for having me. We're very excited to be here. Um, so as you said, I'm the director of the program. I work um, for Maccabi World Union, which is uh, one of the, the companies or organizations that um, organizes programs for uh, MASA programs for um, people to come, uh, especially on gap years, but we have other programs as well. We're very excited as this is, as you know, the first time we're having this sort of program and we're super, super excited and um, to see it, you know, come to life. Um, and um, I feel really lucky to get to be a part of it. Amazing, thank you. Um, and Elia, do you wanna share a little bit as well? Yeah, so shalom everyone. I am very excited to be here and thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm the partnership director, work for the Jewish Agency for Israel. And I'm also the, the Federation's representative of Israel, the Atlanta and St. Louis Federation's representative. Uh, and I'm very excited from this opportunity. It's like something that, uh, first of all, during this time to dream about something that is going to bring so much life and so much action to our life in our partnership with something amazing. Uh, the partnership unit actually is something that happens in many other places in Israel and in the world. Uh, there are, we have 46 partnership each part of Israel, each uh, city is connected to a different part in the world. And Atlanta and St. Louis are so lucky to be connected to Yokneam and Megiddo. And I think that during this uh, uh, Facebook Live program, we're going to share with you why Yokneam and Megiddo is so special and why to have the opportunity of uh, being four months in our region. It's a dream. And this is something that you will be very happy and will have a meaningful, meaningful time. So let's start. Awesome. Thank you so much. And Gali, you want to introduce yourself and share a little bit as well? Absolutely. My name is Gali Gordon. Thrilled to be here. Director of Partnerships at Massa Israel Journey. I'm so excited about this program. I've been dreaming about it since 2019. And obviously the pandemic disrupted the world. But as a teen growing up in Boston, I had a very strong connection with our sister city in Haifa, obviously not too far away from Yokniam. And mm -hmm. we just had the best experience, but I think it was too short. So I think this is a really great opportunity to be able to build that out on those great experiences that I had and those connections with our sister school in Haifa. Um, but for teens from Atlanta to be able to dig in those connections, build those lifelong bonds and really immerse themselves all the more so um, in the partnership and our shared values. Amazing. Thank you all so much. Um, so I have a bunch of questions for you about the program, just so we can get to know it a little bit better here this afternoon. Um, so I'd love to hear from you all about the benefit of doing this program and spending time um, away from going to college in the fall. Um, like really, what is the benefit of spending that time? Um, and we can go in opposite order this time. We want to start with Gali um, about really the benefit of this program. Absolutely, thanks, Annie. Um, this pro well, first, just to mention, GAP programs overall are just an amazing opportunity for students to be able to really, I would say, take a break, but it's not really a break, but take a break from their formal educational path and really have a chance to explore and grow themselves. I think a lot of that happens in college, anyways, 
during freshman year. So maybe your grades suffer at the same time, but having done a gap year in Israel, you'll really come in and ready for college as a strong independent adult. Um, and all the more so that you've had these deep um, experiences and personal growth in our special Israel. Amazing, thank you. Um, Eliad, do you wanna share any thoughts on the benefits? Yes, so first of all, the fact that you will be able to be in Israel, uh, it's something very important. And I think that uh, from one year to another, you really understand that you can learn about Israel and be connected to Israel by meeting Israelis and living like an Israeli in Israel is something that Shinshini Mayel brings in the best way. Uh, being part of a community in Yoknam Megiddo is something that uh, it's very special because many people come in Birthright or in other programs of Masa for a short time and going from one place to another and it's amazing. But people who want like more meaningful experience, uh, I let them say that the idea that people go to, the, to a lot, take pictures of their views, go to Jerusalem, go to Tel Aviv, visit Tiberias, visit Sfat, but then when you come to Yoknam and Megiddo, you're really in your home in Israel. You can meet with the people, you can be hosted in a host family, you can understand the beauty of Israel in a different perspective by long-term relationships with the Israelis. Uh, and on the other way to, to share it, it's like, I think that the region, the Yoknam and Megiddo, it's like a microcosm of all Israel. Uh, because you have there a kibbutzim, and you have a moshav, and you have a moshava, and you have a big city with the high tech part. So I think that each person or each teenager that come to our region can find the thing that he be connected to. And uh, when people say you have a hobby, you have something uh, uh, filled of interest, you can find similar thing in Yoknam and Megiddo, and you will match you, and you will have the opportunity to do it long term for four months. So this is, I think, something that will bring so much to a person or to any teenager that will come uh, to our region for these four months. Amazing, thank you. As someone who's like done a lot of that like 10 day traveling and also spent like longer periods of time in Israel, I super resonate with what you were sharing in terms of like really like spending that time getting that authentic experience and being able to really learn about what it means to be an Israeli. Awesome. Um, Bacha, do you have anything to add about the benefits of this program? Yeah, I think building off of what both of you guys said, um, so starting by, by what Gali said, I personally also took a gap year in Israel and that changed everything. So I personally, personally understand the value and um, the meaning that it can have in, in anyone's, especially at that age and at this point in time, uh, you know, future in life. So it's super, super strongly recommended. Um, and then building off of, uh, by what Eliad said, I think this specific program, Shinshini Mayel, has the perfect combination of everything. You literally will get to try a little bit of everything. You will get to, you know, travel and do some trips and fun and, you know, meet other people that come from other cities and that are going to be working and uh, having their, their social work in different cities because they originally are from different cities. Um, and then you will also get to dive really deeply into Israeli culture and make really deep, meaningful, long lasting connections. So I really do think it's a mix of everything that anyone wants from a gap year. Amazing, amazing. Really sounds incredible. Um, going off of all this, we've gotten this like big picture kind of broad view of what the program looks like. I'd love to like kind of dig into that and learn what does daily life look like on this program? Like what are the kinds of activities, like if I was to go on this program that I'd be doing in my daily life, um, if any of you want to take that. Um. I, I can take that if you guys want. Um, so that's a great question. So for the first three weeks um, of the program, you guys are like, the participants are all going to live together in Tel Aviv, um, in apartments throughout Tel Aviv. And there's going to be, you know, a really fun, exciting, uh, full of learning and, and learning experiences program. Um, you're going to get to take a um, Magen David Adon course and you're going to get to, you know, really get to know the city of Tel Aviv both by yourself and, you know, uh, getting, you, you will also get, of course, some free time to walk around the city and discover it by yourself. And then you're also going to get, you know, like some walking tours and dive into the culture and get to know the different types of people that live in Tel Aviv. Um, so that's for the first three weeks. And then for the remaining of the program, you're going to be living in your sister city. 
uh, each city looks different. So you're either going to be living in someone's, you know, a family, like an adoptive family house, or you're going to have a place for the Shinshinim in the city. That's really depending on each city. Um, and then you're going to, you know, in the morning and throughout the whole day, you're going to be working, you know, like, like a Shinshin would do, um, having, you know, their service and their social work during the day for the community and for society. And then additional to that, once a month, you're all going to have the whole group again is going to come together and we're going to travel somewhere in Israel. So it's either going to be North, South or Jerusalem. And then by the end of the program, we're going to have like a closing seminar, all of us together again. Amazing. That really sounds so incredible. And like, it's really built out into those different pieces where you get to see so much of Israel while you're there. Really incredible. Um, Eliad mm -hmm. and Dolly, did you want to add anything to that? Yeah, I, I would just add about it specifically in Yokno and Megiddo. Uh, the idea is to build like a tailor-made program for each student. Uh, if there is a student that will come, a student, they will not be a student. They will be a, <laughs> you get their gap year. Uh, if someone loves music, we can build it for him a program. He can or teach music or do music with other programs, other teens or other kids in our region. Someone is into sports. So we have also programs. For instance, we have Jvile Alev programs that connect sports to the Ethiopian community uh, in, in Yokneam. So he or she can focus on those kind of programs. Uh, so in the mornings, as Batya said, they will volunteer in, the, in their frameworks. Uh, it can be at schools. In the afternoon, of course, in the informal uh, education uh, programs that we have in Yokneam and Megiddo. Uh, we are going to have a lot of celebrations, I'll call it, that to be connected to Israel in our way. If they want, they can go to the moshav or to the kibbutz and milk, milk a cow or to a fruit picking, something like to bring Israel as it is known to the entire world, but also to give the personal perspective of, uh, of being as, and as, as, as Israeli in Yokinam and Megiddo. Uh, other things that is very special, and uh, Bati also mentioned it, is the hospitality. Uh, now we are finalizing the program, and once we will have the, the four uh, teams that will come, two from St. Louis and two from Atlanta, we will make the, the decisions according to their will and according to their skills, but we want like home hospitalities for the weekends. Uh, it can be only for dinner or to stay at their homes because we really believe that once you enter to a home of a family from Yokenam and Megiddo, you will really understand everything. And it can take like five minutes to really feel the, the, the unique uh, uh, experience and the unique energy that the, our families have in, in the region. And just to add to this, that the partnership is 26 years old, and I'm sure that okay. once they will be chosen, the, the 14s, uh, they will be able to find so many people from their community, from Atlanta and from St. Louis, that actually visited and know their friends. They'll say, oh, you're going to York now. You need to be hosted at, and then we'll give him a list of so many people that we know uh, that will be very happy and to open their homes for them, especially now that it will be, I think, the, the first meaningful program that we can host people after COVID. Uh, so this is the day we like. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you all so much for sharing all of that. It really does sound like an incredible experience and opportunity. Um, I wanted to, you mentioned COVID. I wanted to like dig into that a little bit more. I know that's a concern that a lot of people have, like how you're going to support people in terms of health and safety, both like with COVID and also with like just in general. Um, and also like how you think COVID might impact this program um, and how it might look. Um, I'd love to hear any thoughts. And I know that's kind of a hard question because we are dealing with a lot of uncertainty. Um, but if any of you want to take that um, or have any thoughts on that. I can start from like this 35,000 feet view, that being Massa's been operating programs all throughout the pandemic. When it hit Israel last spring, end of the winter, um, we had about half of our fellows leave Israel, but half hunkered down and um, quarantine with Israelis. And when the country reopened, they went about their business just like any other Israelis. Um, when programs started again in the fall, we brought people again in the fall based off our performance in the spring. Um, so hopefully COVID will be in the review mirror by then. Israel, as you've probably seen, has racing ahead with the vaccines and Masa fellows are at the back of the line in Israel and Israel's at the back of the line. So our fellows are being vaccinated. Um, so hopefully we'll be long in the review mirror, but I'll let um, Batya and Eliad address any specific concerns. Yeah, so... Um... Going off of that, um, so 
basically um you you're gonna like the participants that come are gonna be covered by a health insurance that covers you know everything related to testing vaccination um and everything uh it literally covers everything including COVID, other than um, physiotherapy, psychological treatment, and odontology. All the rest is covered by this insurance. Um, also, in addition to that, we are, at, from Maccabi World Union, we're in constant uh, contact with both Massa, the Jewish agency, the government, the, the Ministry of um, Safety, everything. We're always in touch with them, and we are following the rules, and, you know, they're always... Um, letting us know what the regulations are and what precautions we need to be taking and also what what things we are allowed to do in order to provide the, the most experiential program as possible um so you can the participants can totally count with uh the fact that the main priority for us is their safety and their health but the second main priority is for them to have the most meaningful and amazing experience so we are always going to have those two in mind and, you know, combining the two, we're going to make sure that they have the fullest experience possible. Um, and we're also counting that on the fact that by the time they come here, we really hope that COVID is going to be, it's going to look way different than it looks today and easier and lighter. <laughs> and and just one, one, maybe just one more sentence to add. Uh, this program, as uh, uh, Batia and Gali said, it's like under like a big umbrella, uh, of the Jewish Agency for Israel with all their regulations and instructions that they give us uh, uh, to make sure that every participant that come to any program are covered and we make sure that they will be as safe as possible and according to all the regulations of the government, of course. Uh, and when they are, once they are working at schools or all the other informal programs, the same, the same, the same, the same, that everything is under their restrictions. Uh, so. And we are there all the time, so it's something that we can communicate also to the parents and to other people who need to get more information all the time. Awesome, thank you so much. And yeah, thank you for prioritizing the health, safety, and also like the meaningful experience of the participants as well. Um, another question that I have, um, just to pivot a little bit, is to talk about like supervision on the program versus flexibility. So what that looks like for the people on the program, because I know like they'll be living in apartments in Yokneam on their own. And like, what does supervision look like versus like what flexibility do they have to travel around the country? Um, I'd love to hear a little bit about that. If anyone wants to take that. Sure. So I, I can start and then I think Eliad can, you know, um, add to whatever to whatever I share. Um, mm -hmm. so basically, in the first three weeks that I spoke about that are going to happen in Tel Aviv, um, well, Throughout the whole duration of the program, there's going to be one assigned Madrid or Madrija that's going to, you know, be in constant touch with every participant and it's going to go visit them eventually when they're each in their own cities. Um, and it's going to be with them, of course, in every single trip that they take. And they're going to have, you know, online Zoom meetings once a week at least. Like there's going to be really like a lot of supervision in that sense. And that specific person is going to be with them throughout the whole duration of the first three weeks. Um, and then, and then of course, they have the whole back office, you know, backing them up. And we're here, like, we are located, our offices are really close to Tel Aviv. So it's really centered. Um, we're close to, relatively close to every city that um, they're going to be in. Um, so yeah, that's like from our part, the staff that they're, they're going to have. But then additionally, we're going to be working together with staff and people, you know, supervising in each city on a daily basis once we're not there with them, like we're going to be in Tel Aviv. So I, I think Eliad can explain for mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, so okay, with us, and we have like uh, previous programs that we led in our region, uh, actually at the same age of 1920, they came for one month. So it was a combination between home hospitality and living or in a kibbutz or in, in an apartment. And all the places are very close to one another. Uh, and we have a supervision of a living bridge coordinator that uh, will work, of course, to make sure building the programs with them. Uh, and all the time, like we want to make sure that they are safe. And we have also the circles of volunteers in our, our region, actually, with the steering committee uh, members that we also want them to be invited and part of this program. 
so we're really looking forward to have this kind of opportunity to experience it uh, again. Uh, at the beginning of the program, uh, we are thinking about a division between a city and the kibbutz. So they will have the opportunity to experience both things. Uh, and, and once they will be chosen, as we said, we want to build it together with them and to feel what will be much more, uh, fit, what will be fit more to the, uh, each student that will come, each teenager that will come. So this is the program. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, it really sounds like you're prioritizing security and making sure that like everyone feels comfortable while in the program, which is awesome. Um, for just like to wrap up um, today, I know you all have mentioned some amazing, incredible aspects of this program, but I'd love to hear again from all of you, um, just maybe like one more thing you'd want people to know before applying for the program um, for Atlanta Jewish teens to know. Um, and I'll start with Eliad. So first of all, I think the most important things for us is people. Uh, we like if the, our mission statement is people to people to make sure that people will be connected to other people. So I think once you apply, you want to be part of a community. You want to be part of a family. And this is something that is super important for us to know uh, because you can volunteer in different programs and you can come and give uh, to the community that you volunteer. And I'm sure that Gali and the Batya can give you a list of programs that they can volunteer. Here, we don't want just someone that will come. We want a family member. Uh, and once people come to partnership region, uh, as I said, many people can give their testimonies and share their experience by visiting in our partnership region, but it's a long-term connection. So if you want to come to a family, this is Shinshin in my L. Amazing, thank you. Um, Gali, you wanna share one more thing someone should know before applying? I think Eliad said it exactly. It's like, this is an exclusive program. It's there's two spots. We're looking for the right person for this. We have plenty of other programs that I'm happy to share about at a different time. Um, and you can check out all the different Facebook lives that have been done and we'll be doing. Um, this is a special program for a real mensch and we're looking to find the right people for this. Um, I think it's also just an amazing opportunity to also meet some similar minded people from other communities around the United States during the Tel Aviv time and through your different um, We've got Shim throughout. Um, and I think it's just really exciting. I'm excited to see this program launch. And I think especially after dealing with this pandemic for a year at this point now, I think something to look forward to and mm -hmm. this permission that COVID will almost give people to take a break from the normal path and to really take that time for self-care, self-exploration, self self-growth is just incredible. So seize the moment and let's do it. Yella. Amazing. Thank you. And Bache, you want to close us out? Yeah, I think I think this is just such a great opportunity for so many things you know you really will get to um see israel meet new people dive into the culture get to know like both israeli and um non-israeli people become a part of someone's family and become a part of a community that maybe you didn't even know before you haven't even ever met um and i think it's such a great unique special opportunity um that it's it's a really it's a really worthwhile one so yeah we're really excited to have you <laughs> amazing amazing thank you all so much honestly sign me up i'm ready to go <laughs> i'm changing my l to Israel. sounds incredible see you there um, annie yeah i'm ready this is amazing <laughs> um we are going to be featuring shinshanim il all day um Tonight at 7 p.m., we're going to be back here on Facebook for another webinar with a ton more information about the program and other staff members um, who are involved in the program as well. Um, and also, if you check out our Instagram story today um, on our handle at JumpsparkATL, you're going to find some awesome photos and videos that feature the partnership region and the program as well. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, and as I mentioned, um, we have this amazing Israel Gap Year Scholarship, um, $10,000 that you can receive from JumpSpark. Um, and you can learn more about this in the link. Um, on this Facebook Live event or on this YouTube, wherever you are watching it, and go ahead and apply today. Um, and we definitely hope to see you soon tonight at 7 p.m. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you.